In this video, you'll learn how to add a strip, customize a strip, add items to a strip, and organize strips on your website. Strips are horizontal sections of your website's pages that help you structure and organize your site. In this website's homepage, there are multiple strips, each with a different design and purpose. You can add as many strips as you'd like to your website. For example, this strip shows the types of classes offered by this yoga instructor. Strips are completely customizable, so you can change each strip's background, layout, and size. Hit the question icon anytime if you need help. How to add a strip. On the left, click Add and choose Strip. There are plenty of strip styles you can choose from. We'll go with this one. Select a strip and drag it to the location you want on your page. The strip will automatically span the width of your site. Resize your strip by clicking the stretch handle and dragging it up or down. Click on the strip and choose Change Strip Background. You can easily change the color, image, or video background of your strip, or choose one of these backgrounds. Keep in mind, adding more than two strips with a video background to any page may make it harder to navigate. Click Color to choose the color you want and click the X. Let's add a title. On the left, click Add, then choose Text. Select a title and drag it onto your strip. On the left, click Add, Button, and choose a button you want. Your strip now has text and a button. Click Preview to check out how your strip looks. You can also add videos, contact forms, images, and more to each strip. How to organize strips. To easily manage and reorder your strips, click Zoom Out. It's this magnifying glass icon here. Click the strip you want and use the arrows to move it up or down. Click the Copy icon here to duplicate the strip. If you want to delete a strip, click the trash can icon. Let's move this testimonial strip underneath yoga classes. Remember, you can always click undo to bring the strip back. When you're done, click the exit icon to go back to the editor. Now you're ready. This video is always here, so come back and watch again for more help.